More boxing you can see coming up shortly. May 8th, King Vision and Showtime event television in association with the Mirage present live from the Thomas and Max Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, the WBC Heavyweight Championship as Lennox Lewis defends against former IBF Heavyweight Champion Tony TNT Tucker. Also that night, three-time world champion Julio Cesar Chavez with his staggering 86-0 record defends his WBC super lightweight title against Terence Ali. In addition, the WBC middleweight title on the line as the Hawk Julian Jackson defends against the impressive Gerald McClellan. Let's go back to the fight doctor in the ring for more on that May 8th fight card. All right, if there's ever a chance for spontaneous combustions between these two guys standing next to me, Julian Jackson, the Hawk, and his opponent, the heavy-punching Gerald McClellan, who are going to meet now in May and settle this thing. Now, Julian, this is a man that's the hardest puncher you've faced. Uh, let me just tell the fans, whatever you do, don't go to the fridge, don't go to the bathroom, because it's going to be a quick night. All right, Gerald, in my University of Miami shirt, number one in football for a long time, are you going to be the number one in boxing with this man, Julian Jackson, standing next to you? We have a lot of respect for Julian. He's been around a long time. It's going to be the biggest war in history. I plan on coming out victorious. Well, it will be a war. However long it lasts, it's going to be the fight of the year. And now for the man that puts on the fight of the year almost every year, Don King. Don, tell me about the Chavez night coming up. Well, the Chavez night is going to be a super night, but let me say one word about these two middleweights. I want everyone out there in pay-per-view land to tune in quick. Call your local, local cable operator because this is going to be a war with Julian Jackson and Gerald McQuillan. They're going to be the unsung heroes on that evening. It's going to be a super war. You can't afford to miss it. It's, it's scheduled to go three rounds. So you got to watch it now because they say that's pushing it. So you got to see it's going to be a great fight. Julio Cesar Chavez is challenging Terrence Ali. Terrence Ali is, is unanimous the number one contender in the WBA, the WBC, and the IBF. So he's taking on a very formidable opponent in a long list of opponents that he's got lined up for this year. It's going to be a super year for Showtime, King Vision, SET. And we are just excited about it, but it's going to be a great fight. You see Julio Cesar Chavez coming off 136,000 fans, and when he comes into the ring on May 8th to take on Terrence Ali. So you're going to see a super extravaganza leading to the heavyweight championship. All right, and let, me say, let me say something. You're the man that had all the faith in this guy. When nobody had faith in him, you kept putting him on the shows. And one time after that, you kept telling me, this guy's going to fight for the title, and I didn't believe you. And now here comes Tony Tucker. He's slim, he's looking good, he's looking strong, and he's looking determined. How do you feel about this chance that you've gotten for the heavyweight title? We're going to uh, the world! I feel great about it. You know, I, I, I never trained as hard as ever in, in my career. As hard as I'm training now, I'm happy in my camp, you know, which I wasn't a lot of time. I feel great about this opportunity. You know, I thank God, you know, that I have Don King to be an angel on my shoulder to give me a second chance in life. It's not too often that a guy get a second chance in life to go for his goal, so I praise God for that. Well, I think you have every opportunity to uh, make Don King one of the prophets of his time because he believed in you, and he believes in another guy, and that's the guy that everybody sweet, said pound for pound sweet, the best. Sweet, sweet Terry, Terry North. Oh, and sweet Terry North is with a showtime. I'm just happy. I know Tony Cox got to be just smiling all over. Sweet Ter Terry North. Terry, pound pound, you're going to start. the best fighters in the world. You're going to start picking up your uh, the pace of your fight. You're going to fight much more often than you imagine, I think. Um, yeah, I'm, and that's what I'm looking forward to, just to get in the ring, to fight anybody who wants to fight me, uh, move up to middleweight, fight anybody in the middleweight. You know, uh, Julian oh, Jackson God. standing back and looking at my face. Hey, I want to fight you too if you get past McCall, you know? Yeah, well, you know what? Right. I, I want to say, man, I want to thank Joe Shadowbitch. This is Joe. Come on in here, Joe. Joe Sajadovich is a man of his word. Few people in this sport game of boxing gets the opportunity to get and work with a man like this here. I'm delighted to work with this man, and I'm delighted to work with sweet Terry Norris. It's going to be super sensational. Oh, Terry, don't show it to him. You scare him. Do it one more time. You scare him, man. Well, we're going after all of the middleweights, all the super middleweights, and we got all four of the super middleweights well, right now. That's including Tony. We got, we got none. We got Nigel Ben. We got Chris Eubanks, and we're going to have a series. And then in the middleweights, we're going to have... Sweet Michael, sweet Terry Norris, and the junior and the middle. So it's going to be exciting. Get to tune in quick on May 8th. All right. It's going to be a long summer of action all the way into the fall. And now to Steve and Bobby at ringside. It's great. Showtime. What time is it? Showtime. Very good. Very good, Terry. Great. Are you sure you want to throw it to us, Ferdy? As we wrap things up here in Memphis, first of all, because, you know, you were having such a good time. Let's get your thoughts on that uh, May 8th uh, triple hutter. Uh, of course, um, Lennox Lewis is a 5-1 to one favorite coming off the stunning uh, knockout of Razor Ruddick. 
And of course, Tucker's had his problems in the past. What do well, you think? both men, great physical specimens, six foot five, terrific tools. They have the ability, only one loss between the two of them, and that to a Mike Tyson has to be a great explosion. The winner should fight Riddick Bell. Chavez looking to make it 87 and 0 against uh, Terrence Ali. As the century mark comes in closer, he's just incredible. I think Terrence Ali brings hunger and desire for a veteran of his experience to the table, so he can make an interesting fight out of it. And it's not a lock for Jackson against McClellan. No, McClellan can punch, a great puncher. We've seen Jackson in his recent fights has, has run into a little bit of trouble with some of the punchers. So that fighter, that fight there is the fight fans, I'm just incredible. That's just a blockbuster punching power. You think we should send it back to Ferdy? No. No. <laughs> Second thought.